Rob back from the review and today I'm going to be looking at Transformers Go Bacadora who is a very lovely little dragon former which I was drawn to because it looks very much like um, well it reminds me of Death Zarus from uh, one of the later G1 Japanese series which is a fantastic Transformer in its own right but um, these wings are awesome, they look very demonic and the whole aesthetic of the bot is uh, really cool and I think this is a girl Transformer, I think she's actually a she so Bacadora um, the paint and the plastic is amazing on this thing and I just love the way it looks. The the black and the grey and the silver really work well, but this blue, it looks like it's painted but it's actually just plastic. And um, it's really, really solid stuff it looks like. looks like they're really getting the quality back up on these again which is nice to see. And the face sculpt is really nice. Not sure it looks very girlish but she looks very pissed off if she is. She's got kind of a Medusa thing going on and there's like another two hours at the top it looks like a hybrid beast head. So um, the articulation is a bit in the shoulder, it's on a ball joint there, it bends at the elbow, limited amounts, the hand moves a little bit but that's just part of the transformation, and the hip, you've got a ball joint to the hip which has the usual amount of motion. The knee is a weak point because of the transformation, it uh, bends all sorts of strange ways, and you've got the foot here which moves in a ball joint. So you've got the wings too which move, and these things that hang off the side which look really cool. They've got like a, a spiky bit here, which uh, helps, helps with the transformation, but also just really looks cool too. So, um, this rubber tail, I'm not sure that's going to last. I, I hear Beast Wars toys had that. I don't have many beasts, but um, it just slaps up like this, and then it gets quite rigid, so you can have it like that too. Reminds me of Alien for some reason, halfway through its transformation. So, uh, to transform it, you do that, and then you can fold these claws around here. And then the head is uh, on a double hinge and that folds out here. And then you can bring these things up at the side. And they will clip in at the front but also there's two notches in this grey part with little tabs that you have to sort of press the neck down and squeeze them in right there. And then it all pinches up together it's nice and rigid. Which is cool. So that's what I mean, it looks sort of like alien hybrid human dragon thing. Which is cool. But now you take the whole part, front part of the body, I like this bit, the spine here, and you bend it around to change its shape. And it's, that's a really cool bit of transformation, I think. Simple but effective. Uh, these black bits come round to fold up, but they don't tab in. And you just have to get the arms out of the way to make sure that they'll go in. And they just come together sort of like that. And then these legs, you can have them like that if you wanted to, sort of like a hybrid again with this uh, the belly thing that's quite cool and this is where the uh, toy is really strong for me you separate the legs here and then um, the dragon mode is amazing but you fold them around like that and clip them in so I'll show you again do that bring them around and clip them in and then you've got these legs that are very very movable and along with the wings too, you can get some very, very good expressions with this guy. He's got a lot of character. And he looks very playful, yet evil and scary too. The face is amazing. It's rubber on the top of the head, the bottom bit's plastic. Don't know why that is, but it, it's okay, it works. But he does look very, very cool. And... um with these wings being around like this, it looks like he's landed and caught some prey or he's just steadying himself and about to launch himself at you. And if you put the wings up, you can look a bit more threatening too, so they had a lot of expression. And you can make him quite compact and looks velociraptor-ish here. And yeah, you can also elongate him and make him look very wide stanced. So if you think about the amount of possibility you get out of a humanoid figure with the two legs, this thing can change its body positions too as well because of the four legs. And as someone who doesn't have a lot of beast formers, that's something I hadn't really appreciated. The amount of expression you can get out of this, being a beast and being a dragon, which is always cool, is amazing. And the tail to it adds something. And it has this bit that you can open up. And you can also put your finger in there and it will grip. And that works quite well and you can grip onto the heads of other robots. And he, he looks amazing, he looks like a sort of like pet for um, Optimus Prime. I was posing him with Optimus Prime last night and I really, really think it's cool how expressive he, they look together. And I'll put those photographs up at the end so you can see what I mean. 
But yeah, this Transformers Go line is really cool and I highly recommend it. The toys are fantastic, the plastic's great and um, the series looks really fun to watch too. It's good to have another Transformers series after all. And um, it's nice to see it's got quite a G1 sort of thing going on with it, which appeals to me at least. I'm not so sure if the story is that good yet because you watch it first and you're just trying to get your head into what's going on and with it being a different language too. But I'll watch it a few more times and see what I think. It's quite a short series, but it's worth checking out. And uh, especially if you've got a few hours where you've got nothing to do. So um, this is a uh, Bacadora, beautiful, beautiful little dragon. For a size comparison, we'll have it with a G1 Optimus Prime, which is uh, something that you probably a lot of you are familiar with. And then a more recent figure, I say recent, it's a couple of years now, first edition Megatron, which is a very, very nice figure too. And they look kind of cool together. And R.I.D. Vehicle, which is also an amazing figure. The transformation on this thing is just mind blowing. I love it. It's one of, I bought this on sale as uh, something just as a, a bit of fun, and I was really surprised how cool he is. And he's become one of my most favourite Transformers just because the transformation is wicked. Anyway, I'll do a review on that later. So there's that. Got anything else to do size comparison with? Uh, oh yeah, the little thing that's becoming a mascot, Terence. So. I'm trying to use him in all my videos, so that just for a bit of fun, but also to give you an idea of uh, how the bots compare through comparing them to him. So, there you go. Highly recommended. Definitely go and check it out if you like dragons, if you like things with good quality plastic and nice colour schemes. This is definitely something to check out. Oh, oh, one thing is you can take this off if you don't like the look at that thing, and it's like a gun. It's very stiff in that. It's got like a knurled edge on it. So you could give this to somebody else if you wanted. It's like a standard sort of peg. Then you get a more tapered look which adds to the elegance and probably looks a bit better. So, it's cool. Really, really, really cool. Definitely glad I picked him up. And um, I recommend you guys pick him up if you fancy something a bit different. So, uh, thanks very much and uh, thanks to the new subscribers again. And um, if you aren't subscribed and you want to subscribe and you like what I'm doing then please hit subscribe. So, take it easy guys and see you soon.